All right, on the latest episode of College Hill, Amber Rose threw hands with Jocelyn Hernandez after Jocelyn was picking on her for being biracial. Now, after Amber Rose uh, opened up about not fitting in with either race, Jocelyn said, you really want to be a white girl, which resulted in Amber attacking Jocelyn. Are you shocked to hear that Amber Rose squared up with Jocelyn Hernandez? And can you blame her, Al? Ooh, this is a tough one because you know, you guys, I support Amber. I like her a lot. Um, but let's examine the facts. When that when that video resurfaced that she does not uh, identify as African-American, it just made me feel some kind of way. You're sitting up here on a African-American network, BT. You're sitting there at a historically black college. And if we're really honest, I think her career has been built around attracting black women to follow her, black men to feed her or to, you know, to support her or make her relevant in the black community. The black community has always kind of held her in this, 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 you know, revere. I, I just, I, this was just very hard for me because honestly, I don't like seeing two black female influencers of the culture fighting on television. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the fighting on Real Housewives of Atlanta. I'm tired of the fighting on Love and Hip Hop. I'm tired of fighting. I'm tired of seeing very wealthy, successful black women fighting on television. It has got to change because it's setting a precedence that is leading our young people to not know how to handle conflict. Something's got to change in the culture. I hear you. All right, Q, what do you think? You know what? And we're going to have to save this for one of our deeper dives. The conversation here is not about Amber Rose and Jocelyn Hernandez fighting. The real conversation here is about biracial identity in the midst of black spaces, right? That's the conversation that we need to have. And Amber Rose, although she is biracial, she is very, very light and can acquire all the privileges of being a white woman if and when she wants to, but lean in. She's close enough to Black culture to lean in and harness those powers as well. So there's a much deeper conversation we need to have in addition to that of Jocelyn, who says that she is a Black woman, but also reaps benefits of being Latino or Afro-Latino woman and not quite Black like me Black, whatever. So there's a greater conversation that we need to have at a greater date, but... Um, it's sad that this happened on their show. It, it is. And, um, I, you know, uh, everyone knows my mom's from Italy. And I've always said I'm a black girl every since I was little. I never had that issue of not knowing what I was. It was always other people said, telling me what I was not enough of or too much of, which is very frustrating. I'm going to tell you, growing up like that, it makes you feel very defensive. I know I'm a, def a defensive person, largely in part of that. Because I feel like I'm always like having to prove myself. Like when I was in college, I felt like I had to prove myself. I was extra black. I joined the gospel choir. I was in the Black Student Alliance. I put together a nonviolent vigil when the Rodney King verdict dropped. I felt like I was always trying to like get the approval of, of, of my fellow brothers and sisters, which is a horrible way to live. It's a horrible mm. way to exist because it's like, it's never enough. And then I see comments in the chat all the time telling me that you don't belong here. You ain't black enough which is really heartbreaking to people like me. I don't, I'm not like Amber Rose. I've always said I'm black, but I will say this kind of in her defense. Anyone that knows anything about the Cape Verdean culture, which a lot of my friends on the East coast are Cape Verdean. Their parents are the generation above us are older than us are very racist. They think that being black and dark skin is a horrible thing. They're on the West coast of Africa. They encourage their kids to marry whites and to, to, to dilute their black blood because they think they'll be accepted more in the world. They are so fucking backwards thinking. I hate it. I hate it. I have a friend who's dark and one of my best friends also. And she's the, she calls herself the black sheep of the family. She's a beautiful brown girl. And she said it was just so tough because she always felt like she wasn't worthy. So I'm but thinking... I'm thinking Amber Rose's family was like that, but you've been yeah. here long enough, and to piggyback off you, Al, she has benefited off the black culture. Right. So it would behoove her to not publicly say things right. like that. Right, right, okay. We're on the same page then. Yeah, no, 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 for real. But I just <laughs> want to give the backstory of the Cape Verdean uh, culture. Yeah. They do, they are very, they're very hostile. Not all, but it, it, they definitely, it's one of those places like, I, it, it actually disgusts me when I used to hear some of my friends' parents speak. 